Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kwedash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to do a quick response uh, to a lesson that the beloved elder Manata Zakba uh, did yesterday night uh, going into uh, an individual from um, the Wi-Fi camp, uh, Watchmen for Israel, you know, which is being led by the proud devil, uh, Adam Abbott. <clears throat> you know, Lord willing, he repents and gets himself in order. But needless to say, an individual, I believe, from the St. Louis camp um, pretty much left the message and uh, mentioned how, you know, he's been watching, uh, you know, what's been going on for the past few weeks, you know, with the whole MOTB breakdown. And he agrees with the with the doctrine of Great Millstone. You know, which is which is the truth, you know, whether you people believe it or not. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah is dealing with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down. And if you can't receive that, you're not meant to. Because as far as this specific prophecy is concerned, right, the the, the MOTB, the mark of the B E A S T, right, that micro C H I P, <clears throat> that's a that's a that's a prophecy you can't get wrong. And if you're saying it's and that and the phone chimed in. See? If you're saying it's anything but that micro CHIP, you're going off. Because one critical detail of that prophecy is that you're not going to be able to buy or sell. You see, and that and that micro CHIP is uh, a fundamental part of this whole C B D this the C B D C transition that these devils are pursuing. I mean, so it's clear on what it is. They want to climb up inside you with it. You know, and they want to go exactly where the scriptures say they're going to go. Exactly what John the Revelator seen is exactly where these devils want to go with it. They got that Neuralink right through Elon Musk. There's also other uh, um, uh, forms of, um, <clears throat> uh, you know, brain chip technology. And then you have this uh, this device they want to put in your hand, man. I mean, this thing is plain, you know, so it's a beautiful thing, you know, that this individual through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, has, has, you know, snapped out of that trance he was in, along with others as well. He mentioned how others agreed with him as well when he brought it to their attention, you know, so, you know, when I, when I, when I was watching uh, the elders lesson last night and he was bringing this information out, I mean, I was, I was ecstatic in the spirit. You know, there's nothing more beautiful than seeing a, you know, brother or sister, you know, man, woman, or child snap into the truth, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, quicken them. And so they can see, you know, what's really going on, man. And be able to qualify the hope to be delivered. You know, but not everyone's going to get it. It's not meant for everyone. You know, so it truly is a beautiful thing. And again, the point I want to make is, 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 is through preaching, through preaching the truth. The true gospel being pushed at the rate that it's being pushed at. This is, this, they, they came across, um, they, they didn't come across, but being able to compare and contrast is what I wanted to say. It, it, it's not as if, you know, the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down, you know, to us like-minded men, you know, heard the rhetoric being spewed by, you know, Wi-Fi and these other wayward camps as well. You know, and, and just say, oh, you know, we, we know what's going on. You know, whatever you can say what you want. No. It was being combated with lessons coming out. Lesson after lesson after lesson after lesson coming out, man. From the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down to us like-minded men. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You know, it's important to... uh 
combat, you know, these damn devils. This is why this is why it's so important to defend the gospel. Because there's 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 hopeful elect in these other camps, in these other bodies, you know. There's other there's other hopeful elect still within Christianity, you know, still within uh, all these wayward philosophies. This is why it's critically important to to push this truth, to push this word. If the spirit's on you to speak, you got to speak. You got to get out there and teach. You got to hit the highways and byways and do what you've been commanded to do. If the spirit's on you to do so. This is this is extremely important. And it's a beautiful lot to be able to work for <laughs> the, the power of all heavens and earth, man. Hey, this is the greatest lot anyone could have, man. And me personally, I'm more than grateful. I just want to, you know, throw that out there real quick. I'm more than grateful. I'm sure you, Akiyam, can attest to that as well. You know, this is going to come with, if we can endure, if we can endure until the end, what this is going to come with at the end of this thing, words cannot explain. Words cannot explain. And Lord willing, I leave um, a link of the elders lesson he did last night, you know, in the uh, in the description box for those for those of you Aki Amanakwa that haven't seen it, you know, and when you when you go when you go into his uh when you go into the lesson, subscribe to the brother, subscribe to the elders channel if you should already have it. You know? But through the spirit and power of Bashimi Shai, the first scripture I want to get into was um let's grab this real quick in Isaiah. <clears throat> the fifty second chapter. And Salakia for rambling, you know. It is truly is a beautiful thing, you know, seeing you know, seeing this brother, you know, wake up and be able to see the, the, you know, be able to see Revelations 13 and 16 for what it truly is. Right? The book of Isaiah chapter 52 and verse 7, and it reads, How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings. Right? The men of the Lord preaching this truth. How beautiful are the feet of the men of the Lord, man. Bringing, bringing this gospel, these, these good tidings. And notice how it says mountains, right? Mountains go into what? Governments. See, because the men of the Lord are going to be pushing this word throughout all four corners of the earth. You know, not only through the internet, but literally as well. There's the men of the Lord are being erected throughout all four corners of the earth, man. You know, but, uh, what's that? Matthew 24 and 14. This gospel of the kingdom should be preached throughout all four corners of the earth, man. And then the end's going to come. That publisheth peace, right, to the elect, Lord willing, with probably that precious number. That bringeth good tidings of good to the whole four elect, right, Lord willing, with probably that precious number, right. That publisheth salvation to the elect, Lord willing, with probably that precious number. That saith unto Zion, Thy power reigneth. Right, there's no power but Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. His power is being displayed in these latter days. How? One example, case in point, by allowing us to receive this engrafted word. You have men that grew up in poverty. Okay, grew up with 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 with, with no house. Uh, or a pot to piss in, man. Right? Able to break down the scriptures, understand the scriptures, be able to comprehend the scriptures better than <clears throat> a vocab a vocab Malone, which he's on a low level. I'm just using him as an example. He thinks he's on a level, but anyways, um, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is showing, showing his power, man. <laughs> He's gathering his his elect, Lord willing, with probably that precious number through this word, like he said he was going to do. Right? That, 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 that mark of the B E A S T it has come, it's, it's coming to pass, like he said it would. Through John, uh, through John the Revelator. See? The wicked's being revealed. Esau, Edom, the so called white man. How? Through the Spirit, through the Holy Spirit, the Scriptures pinpoint and target this man for the devil that he is. And at the end of the day, 
when all this death and calamity comes to pass, all right, when World War III comes to pass, as it's written, you people are going to know that there were prophets among you, man. And ultimately, you're going to know that the power of all heavens and all earth and his only begotten son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, are the true powers. And there's no other powers, man. You people are going to understand that. But what's beautiful, back to the point, right, is these, is these men waking up, man. These men that were in these other camps doing the work. To a degree, but ultimately, you know, hey, pushing false doctrine. Because if you if you if you're telling that if you're saying that Revelation 13, 13 and 16 is going into sin or uh uh sleeping with white women, you know, or uh Christianity or an embargo or anything of the sort, other than it being that micro CHIP. And that's false doctrine. And the brother also wanted advice on if he should stay with them or if he... No, man. How can two walk together lest they be agreed? Hey, you will have blood on your hands if you continue to be amongst that council. You're going to get swallowed up right with them, man. You will be an accessory to their false doctrine. You better separate from those men if you know what's good for you. But what's beautiful is that you've 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 come to a point where you know that they're teaching false doctrine. That's beautiful. That's your power. And it's it's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. Let's get this. The book of St. John. This is not meant to be long. You know, I just find this really beautiful. You know that again, <laughs> brothers are waking up, you know, brothers are seeing through the through the darkness. See, this light ain't nothing nice, man. This light shines, man. And the hopeful elect, only the hopeful elect are going to see that light. And they're going to go to it. The book of St. John, chapter 10, and verse 27, and it reads, and this is Yahweh Shai speaking, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, right? How is the voice of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai heard? Through his servants, the prophets. He speaks through his servants. The prophets, man. Matter of fact, let's go get let's go get one. Let's get this. Hosea 12. And 10. I have also spoken by the prophets. And remember, the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. The prophets are on the scene, man, as I speak, whether you people can believe it or not. I have also spoken by the prophets and have multiplied visions, right, which are prophecies, and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. And we believe wholeheartedly, starting with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down, that that's the school of the prophets, man. Every every individual, every camp, uh, every wacky tacky Christian that try to come up against the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down have been defeated through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is making it clear who he's dealing with. And as we as we reach the end of this thing, it's gonna become clearer and clearer and clearer. What scripture say? Then it shall be known who are my chosen, man. But in, in, until it reaches its perfection, there's going to be hopeful elect that come out of that drunken state through this preaching, through the preaching of this true word, this true gospel, the only true gospel, man. There's only one true gospel. And those of the hopeful elect are going to be able to see it for what it is. Let's get this. Um, it's a rock 39. <clears throat> In verse uh, 24, as his ways are plain unto the holy. Whose ways? The ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, including his gospel. 
All right, the proper doctrine. It's going to be plain to the holy. These prophecies are going to be plain to the holy, man. The hopeful elect. So are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. Why? Because they don't have the Holy Spirit. What did Yahweh say? What did Yahweh Shai say? Uh, what happened when the Holy Spirit comes? Let me, let me get this real quick. What's that, John? Let's get this real quick. Um, con the book of John, chapter sixteen and verse thirteen. It reads, "How be it?" And this is our Lord Yahweh Shai speaking. How be it when He the spirit of truth is come, right? The Holy Spirit. He will guide you into all truth. You see? <laughs> the hopeful elect is going to have the Holy Spirit. This individual out of St. Louis and those that agree with this, with this, with this Revelations 13, 16, critical prophecy. Hey, they're being led by the Holy Spirit. None are going to escape. None of the hopeful elect are going to be uh, uh, missing. Pursuing the Amos 9. Yahweh Ba Shimei is going to make sure he gets every single one of his elect, man. Matter of fact, I'm going to go grab that. Right, let's finish this up. Let's read this again from the top. The book of St. John, chapter 16 and verse 13. It reads, How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come, which is what? Prophecy, man. See, we're being led by the Holy Spirit. And this is hey, this is one thing uh, this devil evil E can't can't deal with. Evil E can't do nothing with the spirit. See? Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai pulled the okie doke on evil E. <laughs> and ultimately, the, the hopeful elect is going to be led to the truth. Because again, like I quoted, let's go get this real quick. In Amos 9, and 9, right? For lo, I will come in and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. Why? Deuteronomy 28 and 64. We've been scattered throughout all four corners of the earth. Like as corn is sifted in the sieve, yet shall not the least grain Fall upon the earth. So no matter you know where the whole four elect may be, no matter what they may be caught up in, in this in, at this moment, because scripture goes into the eleventh hour, man. There's gonna be those waking up. The elect is gonna be waking up in the eleventh hour. See? Yeah, how about Hashimi how Shah is in control, man? You know, so these these de these vipers, right? These scorpions, these wicked so-called leaders of Israel teaching false doctrine. You know, ultimately, if you have any 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 of the elect within your congregation, they're gonna come out of it through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Once they hear this word being preached in this true veracity, if Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is dealing with them, hey, they're out of there. They're going to come out of that darkness and into this marvelous light. Let's go get this. Matter of fact, let's close out right here. The book of John, chapter 8. In verse 32, and it reads, and these are the words of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. And ye shall know the truth. See, there's only one truth, man. And watchmen for Israel don't got it. Along with these other wayward camps pushing false doctrine. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth. 
she'll make you free. <laughs> See, and these individuals out of Wi-Fi, out of Saint, this individual specifically out of St. Louis, the Wi-Fi camp out of St. Louis, and again, those that agree and understand the correct breakdown of Revelations 13 and 16, hey, they've been set free. They have a form of comfort now, understanding what not to do in order to avoid being caught up in that fire and brimstone. Because it's going to be real enticing, man, to get that chip. Oh, I said it. Whatever. It's going to be real enticing. See, this damn devil, evil E, has a lot of tricks up his sleeve, man, in order to persuade you to get that thing. This is why it's called the hour of temptation. See? So to understand the proper breakdown, you know, of Revelation 13 and 16, this is critical. This is essential for you not to get caught up in Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai's indignation. So call Halayim La, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, that these brothers snapped out of it, man. This is all through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And it gives credence to the importance, you know, of this word going out. In, in all truth and sincerity, man. See? The tabernacle of David. The tabernacle of David. Okay? It's being raised up. And we are about to be out of here. A hey, Lord willing is sooner than later. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai Baha Shem Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwaf will edify. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Kal Halalim La Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai Baha Shem Rakak Wadash. Shalom.